Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Nick Booth. Uh, I'm from Podnosh. Um, I'm going to try and juggle two things, so excuse me. Um, so I'm staying up here because Diane said to me, uh, the theme is kindness. Can you talk about your loop of generosity, please? Um, so that's a loop of generosity. Um, there's a generosity and there's another one. They're looped. Um, where, <laughs> where, where does this come from? Uh, so it started way back with the social media surgery. Some of you were involved, involved in those, but they're very uncomplicated peer-to-peer -peer support networks where people who knew a bit about the internet sat next to people who didn't know as much and who were trying to do things in their community and showed them how the internet can help them do more. And the people involved in social media surgeries um, would have these sorts of experiences. Well, that's the first, having someone cry with joy after arriving at social media surgery. And they coined this phrase, social glow. And from watching people working together and watching people supporting each other and watching people at the end of each surgery taking a moment to just reflect with each other, what did you do, what did you get out of this, and look each other in the eye and say, you help me do this, and say back to each other, you help me understand this and appreciate this, I realised that what they were developing was a really positive loop, that the person who was receiving the help would get the generosity of that gift, and the person in return would get the generosity of their appreciation of it. Now, this stuff is not complicated. I know that if I go, if I'm driving home and I start thinking to myself, you did a really shit job in that talk, Nick, I'm going to start feeling bad, and my body's going to start feeling bad. Noreen started talking about this yesterday. I know that if I'm kinder to myself, my body will feel better, and I will feel better, and I'll have the capacity and the power and the energy to do more. So the loop of generosity is a very uncomplicated human thing that we already understand. In some ways, some of these ideas are being used in different things. So last year, uh, up, for a couple of years up until last year, I was working with the amazing people at CoLab Dudley. Um, and they've got a set of principles. I would really encourage you to look at those principles so then all of their work is done to a set of principles, but also it's measured against those principles. And the principles drive the work, and the principles drive whether the work is making a difference or not, or how you measure that. But in amongst those principles are a couple. For example, uh, relationships matter is one of the principles. The eighth principle, I think, out of eight is work at the speed of trust. And increasingly, people are recognizing that the human element the kindness, the decency, is core to whether we are going to serve each other well and core to whether our services function as in ways that human beings need them to function. Right, so the last thing I'm going to do is um, just read a few paragraphs from a book. I have spent my entire adult life trying to avoid reading anything that Terry Pratchett ever wrote. <laughs> I have no idea why, I just had this inbuilt prejudice. Yeah. So a friend of mine said, you claim that you're trying to experience new things and gave me a copy of A Hat Full of Sky. So I'm going to read you a few paragraphs from this. The context is that there's a, a woman called Miss Level, who I think probably best described as a witch, and there's a woman, young woman called Tiffany who is thinking about getting into witching as a, as a job and so is on work experience with her. Uh, Tiffany couldn't quite work out how Miss Level got paid. Certainly the basket she carried filled up more than it emptied. They'd walk past a cottage and a woman would come scurrying out with a fresh baked loaf or a jar of pickles, even though Miss Level hadn't stopped there. But they spent an hour somewhere else stitching up the leg of a farmer who'd been careless with an axe and get a cup of tea and a stale bris biscuit. It didn't seem fair. Oh, it evens out, said Miss Level as they walked on through the woods. You do what you can, people give what they can. Old Slapwich there with the leg, he's as mean as a cat. But there'll be a big cut of beef on my doorstep before the weekend's out. You can bet on it. His wife will see to it. And pretty soon people will be killing their pigs for the winter, and I'll get more brawn, ham, bacon and sausages turning up than a family could eat in a year. You do? What do you do with all that food? I store it, says Miss, said Miss Level. But you... I store it in other people. It's amazing what you can store in other people. <laughs> Miss Level laughed at Tiffany's expression. I mean, I take what I don't need round to those who don't have a pig, or, or who are going through a bad patch, or don't have anyone to remember them. But that means they owe you a favour. Right, and so it just keeps on going round. It all works. So really what I want you to think about is where in your work is the loop of generosity? Are you creating environments that encourage it or discourage it? And that we can really, really trust in each other to keep a memory of those kindnesses. Thank you.